Okay, so you would like to create your own WordPress blog. All right, I'm going to show you how to download it and set it up so that you can begin creating your blog. All right, first thing you need to do is go to wordpress.org. Um, once you're at the main page, you're simply going to click the download button and download WordPress. This is version 3.0. You're going to save it somewhere on your computer, usually your desktop or wherever. I've already done that, so I'm going to click Cancel. I don't need to do that. Um, at this point, you're going to come to WordPress. So you're going to unpack the file, and you're going to see that if you open up the WordPress folder, you can see that I have it opened up here, WordPress folder. You can see that it contains many different files. All right, so the first thing that you need to do to install WordPress is there's a file called wp-config. You need to open this up and enter in your database information. Um, for those of you that are beginners, this is not hard information to obtain. It's actually very simple. As long as you own your own web domain, like I own raypastor.com, or you own google.com, whatever you own, you have that information. Very easy to obtain. So you open up this wp-config folder. Um, I'm going to use Dreamweaver to open it up, but you can use other software as well. All right, so I open it up, and at first I see a bunch of code, and it looks kind of confusing. Um, however, it's actually very, very simple to set up. Okay, first thing I do is I enter in my database name right here. So if my database name was Ray Pastor, I would enter that in. Username. Let's say my username was Ray. Password. Let's say my password, I'm just going to make something up here. Let's say Ray ABC. All right, next thing I may have to enter is my MySQL host name. Generally, the default is localhost. You may not need to change this. But if you do, you may need to check with your uh, web service provider and see um, if your server requires something different. Mine actually does require something different, but it's not a big deal to find out. That's it. You change those four things. You click Save. You save the file. All right. Next thing you need to do, which is very simple, is you need to put all of these files onto your server. So however you do that, you do it. Um, you can put them, you can just simply take the whole WordPress folder and put it over, or you can put just the files. Um, I use an FTP program, so a file transfer protocol to put all the files on my server. So however you do that with your server, uh, at this point you put them on. All right, so what I did is I have put them on my server. Um, so once you put them on your server, you simply go to the page where they are. So I put them at this server, all the files. So I go there and voila, I log in. I, I get there and I can tell that it's worked because I see all this stuff. All right, so the first thing they ask is for a site title. I'm just going to put test, username. They give you admin is the default. I usually keep that uh, password. I'm just going to pick the word test here which they tell me is weak, but I'm going to go in and change that anyway. I don't need you guys to know my passwords. Uh, and then you simply enter your email. And then they give you a little option, allow my site to appear in search engines. Yes, I do want it to. Although, well, that's okay. All right. Success. I log in. Now I'm able to log in. Um, I can log in and see the control panel, which I'm going to get to. Um, in my next video, or I can actually take a look at my site at this point. Right now I have a WordPress site. This is the default everything. So I haven't done anything yet, but this is the default. You're done. You have a WordPress site at this point. You can go in and edit it. My next video will show you how to actually go in and edit it.